Welcome back to this LHN Jimmy V Week special, and we continue our conversation with Texas women's basketball head coach Karen Aston, who found out back in February her mother had been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. With that situation going on in your personal life, uh, does basketball become an escape, uh, a, a relief? You get to get away for a little bit, and what's going through your mind when you step back on the court, ready to coach your team, especially, you said, getting ready for the NCAA tournament? Yeah. What's your viewpoint there, considering what's going on in your personal life? Oh, you know, it was a real learning experience for me because basketball has been has been my outlet my whole life, and you know, I say this all the time and wholeheartedly, it saved me um, from a lot of probably bad decisions as I was growing up. Um, gave me some different perspective, and as much as I want to win. And as much as basketball means to me, that particular circumstance shed some light on balance. And it shed some light for me as a coach and as a person about, you know, what's important in life. And, you know, it, it, um, it gave me some perspective I really don't, I'm not sure I've had, uh, which was, you know, it's okay to put things aside every now and then and take care of your family. And it's okay to, for something else to be more important than your profession. And that's been very difficult for me. I, mean, I say things all the time to young coaches when I talk about things that make you healthy and things that are good for coaching, and one of them is balance, and I'm not the best person to give advice about balance, but it gave me some perspective. And, you know, some of the lessons I've learned throughout this is there are a lot of conversations that my mom and I have had that we should have had a long time ago. And there are things that we've said and, again, just stuff that we've shared that, you know, you, when you look back on it, it's like kind of like, what have you been doing, you know, your whole life? And why didn't you have these kind of conversations when you had more time? Um, so it's a blessing. I mean, it, it could have been three months. It could have been one month. And the blessing of all of this is I've seen her really fight. And I've learned about the disease. Uh, I've learned that it's not the end of the world and that there are so many. I mean, I'm so, so thankful for the research that's being done. Uh, she's had a couple of uh, testings with drugs, and I mean, she may be one of those very few that beats pancreatic cancer. She said that to me the other day. She said, you know, I'm going back next week to have my scan, and it's been six months, and I may be one of those few percentages that beat it. And I'm like, well, Mom, it wouldn't surprise me because uh, you're tough. And, you know, we laughed about it because it's been, she's gotten three more months to really enjoy things and I mean she's coming up here to spend Thanksgiving and she can't wait she's driving to Mississippi State to watch that game and um, it's amazing that she's got a chance to see our team play another season and spend some time with me. The doctors gave her originally three months like you said mm -hmm. it, it has already been six months what are the doctors saying now? I don't think they know what to say uh, because I don't think you ever know uh, necessarily how a person is going to react to chemotherapy and she did both and I mean, there were so many times that, you know, because you don't want to watch someone suffer that you just say, stop it, you know, because it's making, you know, it makes a lot of people sick. And for her, she just never wavered on the fact that she was going to do what the doctors recommended. And if that was the answer, then she was going to try it uh, until she could no longer tolerate it. And what's amazing is that now she's only taking it once every two weeks and She's tolerating it pretty well, and you know you don't you don't really know. I mean, she just told me she's going to continue the the chemo until she doesn't need to do it anymore. And so it's it's an amazing story, really, because that particular cancer uh, is very difficult to battle, and she's she's done it well. As you get ready for the beginning of this season, how is your uh, your view, your perception of your job and another new year? different compared to seasons past, years past? Well, I think, again, you just find some balance with all of this. And, you know, I've always been one of those people that, I mean, at the end of the day, I think I'd do my best. And that's something that mom taught me, you know, was just do your best every day and, you know, don't ever back down from anything. And um, I think that it's a little bit easier sometimes to deal with failures. And that's been a difficult thing for me because I don't like to fail. And it's been easier for me to go in every day and maybe have a little more patience with my team and understand that, you know, there's a lot bigger failures out there than losing a game or missing a layup or, 
you know, whatever there is in life. I mean, it, it, she's battling something completely different than a basketball game. So I think it, it, it puts things in perspective and I think shows me the way in case I ever have to deal with it again. I mean, there, there's two ways that she could have looked at it. You know, she could have checked out. And it's all related to, sports is related to life. I tell our kids all the time, you, know, you, need to, you need to get over this if it's a failure and you move on or you wallow around in self-pity if something goes wrong. And that's a perfect example of it. Uh, it's a life example of I could give up or I could continue to fight this until I can't do it anymore. So again, perspective is a big thing and um, we all find it at different times in life, uh, but it's been a good time for me to find it. We appreciate you sharing your story with us, Coach. Thank you. And Karen Aston's squad will take part in the Jimmy V Classic on Sunday as Texas faces UConn at 3 p.m. on ESPN. For more on the V Foundation, be sure to go to jimmyv.org. I'm Alex Loeb. Thanks for watching.